Today, we're gonna to talk about your catalog settings in Lightroom, so let's get into the video. So making sure that we're getting off on the right foot here in Lightroom, I wanna go through the catalog settings and just tell you how I would set them up. So let's jump into Lightroom and check it out. Here we are in Lightroom and to get to your catalog settings, you come up to Lightroom at the top and you have catalog settings. Now here, there's only a few tabs here in the catalog settings. And one of the first things you wanna look at here is backup. You want Lightroom to back up your catalog. And the reason for doing this is one, so that it is backed up, but two, when it backs up your catalog, it actually tests the integrity of the catalog. It will fix any errors that it might find or anything that might be a little out of whack with your catalog, it will fix it up for you. So I usually do once a week, I think that's pretty good. And uh, just make sure as you do the backups, you per periodically go through and delete them because they add up pretty quick and they take up a lot of space. So here in file handling, I leave the standard preview size to auto. Preview quality, I'll leave at medium and discarding the one one previews, I'll do that after 30 days. You have an option of one day, one week, 30 days. I do 30 days because that's usually enough for me to get through the photos. These files take up space, so when I no longer need them, I wanna get rid of them. And in the last tab here, metadata, offers suggestions for recently entered values. I have that checked. I include the develop settings in the metadata. I don't write the changes into an XMP file since I make all DNGs with my images as I import them. So don't worry about that. Um, over here, address lookup, you can have it look up the addresses of where your photos are if you have GPS. You can export the addresses if you'd like. I generally don't and you can detect the faces in your photos if you like automatically I don't do that because I find it takes a lot of time I don't really need that feature and you can also write the time or date changes into the raw files but I don't worry about that either so there's your catalog settings pretty easy to set up so if you're into photography Photoshop Lightroom and even a little bit of video and video editing consider subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video